Cons have pretty much always gone hand in hand. But all that came to a screeching halt back in the fall of 1990, thanks to five very colorful minutes of black and white film that followed our horny hostess down one very hot hotel hallway. It seemed that behind every door was something racier than the door before, starring you know who, her boyfriend at the time, and a cast of fringe fetishists, tasty transgenders, and a small guy with a really big bolt. The ensemble piece was apparently too much for MTV to swallow. Instead, they spit the video out and never looked back. War impending in the Middle East and a recession setting in here at home, the biggest story this week, nevertheless, was a new video by Madonna. Make love in a train, cross country. The clip from Madonna's new single, Justify My Love, was due to receive its world premiere on MTV this weekend. But on Monday, when MTV programming executives got their first look at the video's steamy bed scenes, gay and lesbian snuggling, SM clothes sense, and briefly bared female breasts, they decided they couldn't air it. For you. Justify my love. The uproar about this decision was immediate, both among MTV viewers, some of whom found it hypocritical, and in the press, where some writers noted that probably no other national broadcast outlet would air such a video unedited either. I, I didn't like that one scene when uh, there was the guy in the tight leotard and you could see, well, everything, and he was doing his little dance and pumping the air and everything. That was, that was kind of sickening. I think she was so angry with MTV that she ended up refusing to even do an interview about this. Went over to Nightline, and then lo and behold, it was like the second highest rated interview ever up until that point of Nightline history. Mm, like that. I don't want to be your mother. Have you sort of pushed the envelope a little bit? It is my artistic expression, and for me, a video is the filmic expression of the song. I just want to be a lover. She said that she was an artist, and she meant to make a statement, and she would make that statement whether it upset people or not. That's right. Kiss me. Tell me your dreams. Am I in them? Are you afraid of alienating any of your viewers? No. Why not, though? Because what I say is true. Tell me your stories. I absolutely think that the video should be played. I think that the video is part of MTV's history, music history. I think it's brought us to where we are today. Poor is the man whose pleasures depend on the permission of another. It's all right to have sexual fantasies. Love me. That's right. Love me. It's all right to play, to play with them, to talk about them. But it's all right that there's nothing wrong with you if you're attracted to, to darker things. This looks like a really long Calvin Klein perfume ad. That's what this looks like. It totally does. This does not look like it totally a perfume ad. looks like a, it looks like it a looks perfume like... She is my desire and I am her love. It looks like a soft porn is what it no, looks it like. No, it does. And I've seen soft porn. And this, I've seen <laughs> soft porn and hard porn. And this don't look like either. For you, just by my love. MTV is sticking to this decision. The Madonna video will not be put into rotation on the channel. In the end, it won't make much difference because Madonna has already arranged to sell the clip as a video single and will have it in stores priced at under $10 by December 18th, just in time for holiday shoppers. My favorite part is like Madonna just walking down the hallway and being yeah. like lost in the throws of ecstasy it. and stuff. To justify.